Check out what we've come up with. What the hell? You have no idea? Is that a cooling setup? Oh, this is really cold. This not yet. We seem to have circulation. Should we freeze it or fire it up? You're using nitrogen to cool the engine? You guessed right. Well done. Liquid nitrogen. What's gonna happen? Either, fellas. So lately we've been experiencing a severe heat wave. It's quite a bit nicer when the sun hides behind a cloud. It can actually get pretty hard to breathe. People are suffering and especially machinery. And a bunch of engines have been overheating. I've been seeing quite a few cars overheating while driving around town. Anyway, so I found me this here Dewar tank. Of the type used for storing and transporting liquid nitrogen. And so let's maybe use liquid nitrogen to cool an engine. Prevent it from getting too hot. Let's do this. Check this out, guys. We have set up a pretty fun system here. We've tried to keep things as simple as we could. The factory cooling system has been completely removed. Instead, we're running this here tank. It even has a lid. It keeps the canister sealed. It is going to contain some really cold liquid. We got one tube connected to the heater core inlet. And another one hooked up to the engine block. So we've got the two, one is a bit higher than the other. Now we're about to pour in the nitrogen, which we really hope is going to find its way into the engine block. As well, it is really cold, and though we haven't started up the engine yet, for us it's cold, but for the nitrogen it's actually quite hot. I mean, even when it reacts with ambient air, it proceeds to rapidly evaporate. As it does so, it produces a ton of vapor. I did once attempt to pour some into an engine, and if you haven't seen that video, you should definitely check it out. Anyway, so here I am pouring it in, and with how quickly it was evaporating, it was escaping into the atmosphere in the form of a vapor. The point is, it is difficult to pour it into an engine. And so we've set up this system with the two hoses, and the hope is that the nitrogen will drip down the tube that is set lower, while the one that is higher will carry the nitrogen back up in gasified form. Yeah, we'd really better get to the practical portion of this video. Because we can speculate all the live-long day, but... Now, we did try to avoid using rubber connections, but in certain spots we just had to. Fingers crossed that they hold up. When we froze some tires, they actually did, and uh, easily as a matter of fact. And if you enjoy these sorts of experiments, make sure to sub, so that you don't miss other interesting experiments of ours. Okay, so we have the doer thing, it's filled to the brim. I think it's time we fill the system. Now, another interesting thing I should mention is that nitrogen can get really cold, and anything it comes into close proximity with will also get very chilly and very fast. And if we chill the engine, what happens when the ambient temperature drops to minus 35, 40 degrees? That's right, you can't start it with how thick the oil becomes. Now, I don't think we'll get there that quickly, but we certainly will sooner or later. As long as we can get it at least half full, we'll start it and just top it off from there. Okay, well, let's start filling our cooling system. Here we go. Holy moly, and I can't really tell what sort of progress we're making. It's actually starting to get cold. Where is it pouring into? Can somebody perhaps lick the tube? <laughs> I can't even see how much I've poured in. Oh, this is really cold. This not yet. We seem to have circulation. It's finding its way into the block, and that is very good indeed. Let's pour in some more, then. I can hear it making gargly sounds. That has to mean it's finding its way inside. And that is certainly a good thing. Oh, yeah, the tubes are nice and cold. 
Should we freeze it or fire it up? I can't see a thing. We should... Hold up. We'd better allow it to fill the... Oh, yeah, it is ready to be started. The hoses are ice cold. We should fire it up before it completely freezes over. There we are. What a cooling system we've made here. Check that out. Let's add some more. A generous helping. Yeah, it's full. Oh, wow, does that look epic. Some of it is escaping. I've poured in a bit too much. But then it wasn't easy to work out how much needed to be poured in, so... Is the engine freezing? What's with the temperature? So it's not rising at all. Let me go for a drive. Okay, well... Let's go for a drive. Holy cow. The engine is getting warmer. The nitrogen is evaporating. And this has to look pretty cool. And the temperature hasn't risen even in the slightest. The gauge is showing the exact same volume. Should we maybe pay our good friends a visit? You've seen the movie Back to the Future, haven't you? Is that a moonshine still? Yeah. Who's gonna guess what this is? What sort of stoner car is this? Nah. You guys have no idea. It is a state-of-the-art cooling system. I mean, it is. Is your car overheating? Yep. So is mine. But this sort of setup is going to prevent that. This thing does not overheat. I mean, just look at this. Now, this is a proper cooling system. It is not at all hot. It's actually cold. The only potential issue is that it might freeze over. So we'd better start it. Temperature isn't rising whatsoever. You know? I'd imagine you can hook up the air conditioning system to this circuit. Can you imagine how effectively it will chill the cabin? Just route a hose into the cabin. That's what we came here for. Straight through the windshield. Right, I'm going to go for a drive. Get out of here. We good. That's out of the ordinary, but it won't stop us from driving. What I want to know is... How long this cooling system will run after just a single fill-up? That's a nitrogen cooling system. What the hell is this? Hey, dude. It's hot, cars are overheating. Isn't your car overheating? But take a look at this cooling system that we've set up. Oh, I figured out why it's running so poorly. Look at this. The nitrogen is finding its way uh, into the MAF sensor, and then straight into the engine. And with this being an inert gas, it won't combust. And the lid is getting pushed up from time to time. Anyway, we've made a cooling system. Oh, wow, the cover is getting warm. That has to be the oil. We've poured in some nitrogen, see? Oh, nitrogen. Yeah, that's liquid nitrogen. Yeah, it appears to be sucking it in sometimes, which makes engine operation a bit worse. Now we know what we need to revise. We'll have to work some of the kinks out. Yeah, fit a snorkel and route it that way. Okay, well, I've shown this to you guys, gotta go. Yeah, it's pretty clear how much is in there. As for consumption, how many minutes have we been driving? Can you check the footage? 17 minutes. What do you mean 17 minutes? Or 15. Yeah, and it still hasn't fully evaporated. I'd have to have put about 8 kilograms in there. And 15 minutes? Yeah, the consumption is just wild. But the crucial thing is it works, and let's keep going. The nitrogen is working very well, but then... 
Engine temperature does seem to be rising. That tells us we're running out with the temperature increasing. Oh, he's also a car mechanic. Check out what we've come up with. What the hell? You have no idea? Is that a cooling setup? You're using nitrogen to cool the engine? You guessed right. Well done. Liquid nitrogen. What's gonna happen? So look, a lot of it has evaporated. And on the way back, the temperature did begin to rise. It almost got to 90 degrees. So I suggest we try cooling it down and see how quickly we're able to. But we're about to find out. Here we go. Pouring it in. And let's see. Yeah, it's finding its way around. And the temperature is immediately dropping. The needle is moving very rapidly. So the nitrogen is making its way in. Yeah, it cooled the engine down right away. A moment ago the temperature was at 90. I was talking for maybe about 15 to 20 seconds. And it's already gotten down to 50. But why don't we try getting the engine to freeze over? Pour in the nitrogen, wait for a bit. Obviously it's going to be evaporating, but once there's not a whole lot left, the engine should be cool by then, and we're gonna try starting it. The thing is that the oil is sitting down in the pan and has no contact with the cooling system. The coolant only touches the cylinders, the head, but then we do have some oil film on the cylinder walls. And uh, what do you think? Will the piston stick to the cylinder or will it not? Here we go. Here's the situation, guys. Outside temperature is 30 plus centigrade, the engine is all covered in frost, so it has been thoroughly frozen. That tube has got some condensation on it, it's not covered in ice. And the reason for that would probably be the fact that the water pump was moving the liquid around inside the system while I was out driving. But here obviously the engine just sat, without getting started. So there was no circulation and the quantity of liquid nitrogen left is an indication that we should try starting the engine. It has obviously been frozen good, but the fifth bolt doesn't seem to have any ice on it. Unlike the rest of them. There is quite a lot of ice on either side of the engine. But let's find out if it's completely frozen. Okay, we are ready to try this out. And so let's go ahead, the temperature dial literally just didn't react. Okay, well, here goes nothing. No, it started without any issues. Just like it would in summer weather. Holy cow, that is a lot of vapor. <laughs> yeah, we picked a great spot for the pot, I mean... I had no idea there would be no visibility at all. Yeah, the vapor is really obscuring my view. This is quite a good system. Though I guess it would be a good idea to make it so that it allows the engine to actually warm up. It isn't meant to be cold. We all know that driving around on a cold engine is not a good thing. So yeah, we need to think about how this can be improved. If you have any ideas, feel free to share them. 
What's curious is that we've been driving for 15 minutes, and that amount seems to have been sufficient. Now, we did pour in 14 kilograms, which is quite a lot, but it's not a crazy amount. Not everybody got to have a look. Hey, well, no big deal. I'm revving the engine, everything is looking good. And the temperature gauge is completely unwilling to acknowledge... Okay, it's splashing from out of there. The engine still hasn't gotten warm. The needle is right on the bottom. Like, it's almost a negative rating. So, this turned out pretty nice. The engine it does not freeze, but it also doesn't get warm either. Feel free to share your thoughts as to what we can do to control the process. Nitrogen was pretty interesting to experiment with. You saw it all for yourselves, that's it for this video, catch you guys later.